so today we're talking a little bit about you know some tech and some ways that we can make our lives a whole lot easier and also bring in some of the paradigms of wellness and expand our practice and in terms of a lady biz lifestyle that's the way we want to go we want to optimize our return on investment minimize our net you know or expand at least our, our direct person to person or in presence time uh, I know that's a lot of the conversation and so today, I'm really excited um, to have, I, I, I'm, I'm using the app for the Guru Goddess Tribe, some of you might be aware of that, but um, I made a, a, a platform off of Embody360. I saw them on the Functional Forum, I think last year, they were having some discussion, I looked into it, and I had been piecing together some other things in terms of trying to bring some of my health coaching, my women's health coaching into it, and having these conversations, and um, I found this great a uh, vehicle which is an integrative platform to bring in some life lifestyle coaching I could use it with the yoga I could use it with the you know the emerging telemedicine idea of the physical therapy and definitely with the women's health coaching so I'd like to welcome from um, embody um, Kari Thorstensen, mm -hmm. did I get it right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Kari, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit and just let um, the audience know sort of, you know, where you're coming from and your company a little bit. And then she has a great uh, PowerPoint and, and we're going to screen share and give you a really overview of this system. Great. Um, uh, hello. Thanks for having me. Great. I'm uh, Kari Thorstensen. I'm the founder and CEO of Embody360. And uh, we'll get in a little bit into what it, Embody is about um, and uh, you know why we're, we're, we're the problem we're solving. But just my background is um, I am not a health and wellness practitioner, but I worked for a few years with Joe Cross, who did the film Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Hmm. Um, and uh, runs programs on juicing. Uh, when I was with Joe, we created his, um, his book, The Reboot with Joe Juice Diet, which is a New York Times bestseller. And we also created an app to go with the book. Um, and the app did very well um, in the app store. And um, we at Reboot found the app to be really great in that we suddenly had visibility into how people were actually following a program, what they were doing, where they needed extra support. We were gathering a lot of data. Um, and uh, our, um, our community really loved the app. And so we started looking at what should we do next with the app? And um, we kind of kept coming back to um, the app was unique from the apps that were in the app store because we didn't count calories. And um, we kept coming back to, hmm, this would really work for any integrative health practitioner. Um, so uh, with the help of Joe, I launched um, Embody360. Um, so we were expanding that technology that we created with Joe to um, actually create a platform that any practitioner can use to work with their patients. And um, you know what we're really about is empowering the patient, the practitioner, to work with their patients and clients. Um, we want to do that. We want to empower them. We don't want to work directly with uh, consumers. We want to mm -hmm. empower practitioners because we think they're the best, um, the best folks to be uh, to helping create behavioral change and um, healthy behaviors. And that's great because I, I think as a healthcare practitioner, that's a lot of the static here. We know we, you know, need to, even just getting on social media and then the liability and, and you know, again, our own risk, you know, risk aversion, especially as PTs, people tend to go into PT because they're like, I know where I'll be working for the next 30 right. years, who I'll be working with, and it feels really safe, but there's so much change happening. I mean, I know even in the past three years that I've been on this journey to sort of get a little bit more tech savvy and, and expand my practice, you know, globally or my conversations, start these conversations, just even doing my podcast. It's a totally different world now. So I know that you guys are doing some updates and, and it'll be evolving. Um, and that, and I'm, and I'm really grateful that you have that PowerPoint and, and some sort of example of it so that people can get a feel of it because they think it's so overwhelming. That's probably the number one thing when I'm working with people to brand themselves, you know, not just sell their service, but actually brand themselves, which you guys even have an option of with this app. Um, 
just even doing like a video, you know, a live stream is like, ah, they get really, really mm -hmm. nervous about it. So I'd love if we can kind of see that demo and share that screen and yeah. get an idea of, of some of that. Great. Great. Let's jump into it. All right. Let me, uh, here we go. And you guys just started some video chat stuff too on there, right? We just added video chat to the platform. Awesome. As you mentioned, it's continue, oops, we're continuing to um, enhance the platform. Um, so we have um, some great stuff coming um, in this year, but um, we also have a great platform that's really working for um, clients and their practitioners right and, now. And super important that it's HIPAA compliant. Because I know a lot of things out there are not necessarily HIPAA compliant. You know, health coaches don't necessarily have to follow HIPAA if they're, if they're, you know, maybe working at a higher level of professionalism or working integrated more with hospitals. Maybe they'll have those rules, but they really don't. But definitely licensed healthcare providers, integrative health providers that are kind of being the bridge builders here, that's super important for them because they work kind of seamlessly. They don't necessarily always just take off their physician hat or their physical therapy hat just because they're having a conversation about their, their um, you know, inflammatory diet for their pain. Right. And, you know, HIPAA is, is really a subset of um, privacy and security protocols. Um, and I think that any practitioner, whether they're required to follow HIPAA or not, about privacy and confidentiality with their patients. So, um, uh, it's just, it's great to be HIPAA compliant. Even if you don't need to be HIPAA compliant, it just gives you the, um, I agree. I think if you're going to be, especially now with an, um, international consortium of health and wellness coaches, there's actually going to be a board certification, um, that starts in September is the first test. There's mm -hmm. certain programs that have that met their criteria, you know, as we're moving into this being part of, you know, the, the medicine picture, uh, Western medicine model, it just, you have to just perform that way. Yeah, yes. So um, uh, just a little bit of background, mBody360 is the only HIPAA compliant plat platform built for integrative health practitioners that improves patient monitoring, communications, and support. And we do this by enabling the delivery of lifestyle plans in a mobile app for patients to follow and track um, their progress. So, um, we designed Embody 360 to, to solve a very specific set of challenges for practitioners. And I'm sure you can relate to this, Lisette. You, you put somebody, um, one of your clients on a program, and you're not with them 24 hours right. a day. So they may right. do a monthly checkup, um, or maybe they come back two weeks later and have a, a session with you. Um, and... Uh, they may not be doing as well on a program as you thought they would be doing. And if you ask them how closely they're following the program, they probably tell you they're following the program um, because they followed it the last four days pretty closely so that in their memory they're following the program, right? Um, or they may think they're following the program but they're not quite following it um, correctly, right? Yeah. So you're left to sort of try to figure out what's going on with um, a patient and you have no visibility into what, what they're actually doing, right? Right. For the, for the client or patient, um, uh, you know, and that's the side I come from, adopting a new lifestyle program can be really daunting. You're being asked to cook, you know, a different way than you're used to cooking. You're being asked to shop different. Um, so, you may think you're following a program, but you're not. Um, or uh, you may, you know, occasionally be, you're on a gluten-free program, occasionally you're having just a little bit of gluten, but it's just a tiny bit, so you're not right. going to tell your practitioner about it um, when you go in for a, a visit, because five days ago you had one cookie, right? right. Um, so uh, what, what Embody 360 is doing is we are providing all the information that a patient needs to be successful, and then they're able to track their progress and how closely they're following a program so the practitioner has insight into what, the, um, what a patient is actually doing, what 
um, is working for them, how to provide them, you know, extra support um, and, and advice. So um, we're, making, we're reducing the frustration on both parts and um, we actually save a lot of time for practitioners. Yeah, uh, and that's so much of it because, um, you know, you're already, at the, as, as soon as you put somebody on a lifestyle program, all they're hearing is about the things they can't have anymore and what they're going to lose. And if you can flip it and say, actually, you're going to get this great app. You know, you're going to be able to contact me mm -hmm. or we're going to be able to like, you know, keep in touch if you're having difficulty. It's going to have these recipes or whatever. It, it just is, it, it allows it to be not looking like a punishment. <laughs> Right. You, right. Here's all the things I can do and I can have, right? Right. Um, so uh, there are two pieces to Embody 360. We have the practitioner portal, which is web-based. And then we have an iOS and Android app for uh, patients to use for following a program. And I am just going to jump right into the demo and I'm mm -hmm. going to start with the app and then we'll look at um, what that program looks like on the back end. So let's just start my projector. Okay, so I'm going to um, pull up my my screen and there's my GG tribe. There it is. There, <laughs> there it is. Um, so what happens is you assign a program to a client. They receive an email to download the app with um, the login information that they need. What you can see here is we have the GG Tribe app, and um, that's uh, Lisa's uh, own branded app. So her clients do not see um, Embody 360 anywhere. They're seeing her brand, and they're they're interacting with the, the Guru Goddess. Um, we also have a, a subscription version, which is um, Embody 360. I'm going to open that one up. So you can see I am a patient of Dr. Vincent Pedre. He is the author of Happy Gut, and he's our chief medical advisor, so I use him as my um, demo practice, <laughs> my, my demo practitioner. Uh, so I am a patient of Dr. Pedres, and I am following an autoimmune paleo reset, 28 days, I'm on day two. I can see up here that I have um, the progress of my tracking to date. We have Dr. Pedre's photo here and a little message from him. Um, and as a practitioner, you can personalize these messages and I'll show you where you do that. Um, down here in the toolbar, we have plans. This is the detailed information of what I do for nutrition. Um, I have my meal plan for the day. I have movement, meditation, additional notes. And again, as a practitioner, you can customize all of this. If I go over here to the more menu, you'll see that I'm provided with a whole library of recipes that are all on plan. Right. And this is, um, you know, I know sometimes for physical therapists, depending on the state that they're in, even if they've taken like courses like I have taken with Jessica Drummond or some nutritional things, there's so many variation in terms of like how much food prescription they can give for general things. So this mm -hmm. kind of takes that out a little bit because you're not necessarily prescribing, um, you know, you can do this as like a wellness challenge, give them options, not necessarily telling them exactly what to, but even if you are, if you are doing it and you're not a nutritionist, mm -hmm. it depends on the nutrition rules in your, in your state, you have this made by, you know, because I know like in North Carolina, we just have to have it approved by a licensed and, you know, dietitian or nutritionist. And then it's fine to, you know, recommend to some extent, you know, you got to play with the rules of, the, of your, of your, of your profession, but um, this has that, right? Yeah, we have, we have a whole library of plans that you can use. And um, they were created by our um, registered dietitian, Isabel. So she's created the meal plans and the recipes. 
Um, and although you'll see we don't have patients counting calories, fat, sugar, and macronutrients, mm -hmm. um, Isabel does pay attention to that. So the meal plans are all balanced with the ranges that she's um, comfortable with and thinks are good for you know a, an average person for the day. Yeah. Um, so uh, we have um, so we have the recipe library, which is a great resource for patients. Um, we have the shopping list to go with the meal plan. We can just go to the store and, and they know they so get easy. free Sweet. bananas to make it easy. Um, we have um, supplements. If you're using supplements, you can uh, add supplements here. We automatically provide reminders to um, patients to take their supplements. Nice. Um, so you can see I'm supposed to take one probiotic at wake up and it's 20 minutes um, before, it's just like before eating food. <laughs> mm -hmm. That. Um, <laughs> then we have uh, documents. So you can upload any um, documents that you would like to share with your patients. So some of our practitioners have, um, you know, uh, information on how to have a green home or um, healthy body care. So they might upload that PDF or right. maybe have a booklet of a hundred other additional recipes so they upload that yeah and I think maybe even for like a physical therapist yoga therapist or anybody with the movement you can actually maybe upload some of those exercise systems yeah. you know PDFs of, of certain ways to move or day one you know maybe movement challenge or things yeah. like that balance challenge or something like that we also have videos so you can um, link to videos on um, on YouTube uh, nice. So again, some of our practitioners, I know Dr. Pedre um, is, uh, likes to do restorative breathing, and so he uses a restorative breathing uh, um, uh, video in his app. Uh, we have some practitioners, one of my practitioners does yin yoga, so mm -hmm. she uploads the yin yoga sessions so that her clients can follow along. On nice. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to the main screen, which is really the heart of the program where you track your progress. Um, so we have this body tab and um, you can see that uh, we have weight, waist, blood pressure, pain index, all of these you can set as the practitioner, the metrics that you want to collect. Um, and I will show you how you do that on the back end. We have more. Um, we have more body metrics, and it's fairly easy for us to add one if you um, do not see one that um, you need. Uh, so you can just enter. Like last night, I, I have indicated that I slept seven hours. Um, the number of times I woke up, maybe it was five times, and I rate my oops quality as pretty poor. Um, we do integrate with um, hundreds of wearables and other apps. So if your clients are using a Fitbit or a Jawbone Up or Withings or the Sleep Cycle app to track their sleep, we can pull that data in so they don't need to enter it. And sure. there's a list of all of those things that you integrate with somewhere on the... Um Yes, yes. So um, the way it works is that we integrate with um, Apple Health app and uh, Google Fit. And those two apps um, integrate with hundreds and hundreds okay. of devices. So, um, so basically almost any device out there is, is integrating with those two apps. Uh, and then uh, Fitbit is the only one that has decided not to play in the Apple ecosystem. So we, you, I'll show you under movement. You can also connect to your Fitbit separately. Okay. Um, so uh, nutrition. So um, if I look here, what we see for lunch, let's go to lunch because lunch has the supplements. I think yes. Um, so here's lunch on day three. So um, it's recommended that I have the blueberry steak salad. Maybe I didn't have the blueberry steak salad. Instead, I had another item, but it was on plan. It was from the recipe re library, so I just indicate that I had that. Um, my, I'm supposed to take a digestive enzyme. I can indicate that I had that. Down here, you see we have the, whoops. You see we have the avoids. So these are the items that um, I'm not supposed to have when I'm following an autoimmune paleo right. plan. Um, we do this by categories of food. Um, so it makes it really easy for 
your clients to start learning what kind of foods they're supposed to stay away from. And if they do have one of these foods, the way you enter it is really easy. If I had caffeine this morning, a cup of coffee, I just click here and I say I had a cup of coffee. So um, oh, my phone is slowing down. It's technology, you know, it's, it's, a, it's not 100% for us all the time. I know, let me close the connection. Sometimes when we have too many things on, I know that's what happens with mine. It's like us, it's like people, you know, you got too many yes. things going on. That's yes. why we meditate. It's control, alt, delete, I tell all my clients. Okay, let's see if this is now. Okay, so um, maybe um, instead it's lunchtime and I decided to have a glass of wine. There you go, I just clicked, I had one glass of wine. So the, the, the way you enter foods is very quick and easy. And um, we also have this capability to take a photo. So I can just click here and um, either take a photo or choose an existing photo. See if I have one of food in here. Um, maybe not, yes. So maybe this is what I had for lunch, um, eggs and broccoli rub. And so I can say, um, you know, I, I, I really wanted eggs. So I could tap it and out. <laughs> I really wanted eggs. Oh, nice and easy. Yeah. Um, so it's nice and easy. And, um, and then you can also see your behaviors. Cause I know a lot of times when we're going to do like an elimination diet, you know, like just say, well, if you're going to take, you know, everything out or whatever, you can say what you did eat and like your, how you feel. A lot of times I want to know on a biopsychosocial yes. sort of assessment model, I want to know sort of what they were feeling, you know, as they ate that or maybe afterwards, not just physical, yeah. but like literally were they satiated or I was really so, just um, that meal. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I mean, the photos, the photos are really great because you get a sense of um, portion size from the photos. Yes. Yes. And also you can see if somebody's having something um, that is not on plan. Thank you, froze a little bit. There you go. Thank you, froze a little bit. It'll still record. Okay. Okay. So so um uh you know you get a, you get an idea of portion size from the photos and also you might see that a client is having something that's actually not on plan but they're not reporting it right um and it may just because they're not making the association one of my practitioners um week four of the program her client should have been doing great she was having a really hard time she was feeling sluggish um she hadn't had gained weight that week um, the practitioner was flipping through her photos and noticed that she had gone out for a large um, Chinese meal, um, which technically was on plan because it was rice and it was she had rice and veggies. Right. So, so technically it was on plan, right? Um, but that was causing her symptoms and the client never would have been able to put that right. together. So important. And you know what I'm, I'm thinking now, again, as a women's health practitioner, even more so because we have cyclic changes and sometimes we can actually track um, based upon like food cravings and actually be seeing some nutritional deficits or even how some supplements and nutritional support can change some of those things energy wise as well as. Um, yes. Yeah. So um, uh, I just, I clicked on condition. So this is where a client just records how they're feeling throughout the day and they're maybe they're tired or they're hungry. Maybe they feel clear headed. So it's just a very quick, Quick, either or click on the condition we also have um, meditation over here so we have um, enter time meditating or you can use the timer if I enter a goal of um, 10 minutes a day you'll see when I go back to that timer it's automatically it's automatically um, set to 10 minutes if that's my goal mm -hmm. um, we also have movement, so clients can enter, you know, I spent 20 minutes running, or maybe um, you can see here I have done 6,000 steps today. I have a jawbone up, and I, again, I'm importing that data um, into my health app and then pulling that into mBody360, so I'm automatically logging my step count. Um, and you'll see here at the bottom of the movement screen, I can connect to the Apple Health app, or if I was wearing a Fitbit, I would just connect there. 
Cool. And then we have the note function. And again, you can dictate a very long note. Some of um, our users like to do that. Um, but this is just for journaling. And uh, there are many studies that show that if people journal when they're trying to follow a program, they are much more successful. So um, we have the journaling piece to this. And then we have um, a contact. So this screen, um, you totally customize what you want to appear here. And you'll see we have this text chat. Um, now, in reality, Dr. Pedre doesn't have time to do text chat support with his patients, so this is turned off. He does work with a health coach, though, and his co health coach does text chat with um, Dr. Pedre's patients that she's working with, so she has text chat turned on. So it's flexible. You can turn on and off you know, the features that work for you in your practice. Mm -hmm. um, the text chat is completely HIPAA compliant. We do not send the text to the text messaging on your phone. These texts go to the portal that I'm going to show you in a minute and um, you answer them there and you have the full thread of, of, of text chat with that um, patient. Cool. So I can just say, you know, um, uh, having a hard time sleeping. Right, and send that off to Dr. Pedre. So, uh, whoops. So is there a way to um, pull the data for, let's say if I have an EMR or something, or I would want to upload to, you know, some other files or does it stay separate? Um, so if you, right now it's separate. Um, we do have um, uh, two requests in, and one is a, a, is a fairly quick request is that, um, uh, having an export function on the back end for text mm -hmm. messages mm -hmm. that into your EMR. Um, and then the other request is to um, pull a report when a patient finishes following a program so that oh, yeah. it's like a PDF add it to the exactly. exactly. So a little bit of that integration. Yeah, I could so, see that so in this, the future that'll be, right? That'll be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the, the app, um, and uh, every time I demo it, I think, well, that was so simple, but that was the point. It is simple, and um, we're not asking uh, users to put in a ton of information, and uh, we get great feedback from patients that it, it really helps them follow the program, and they like using it. So. Yeah, no, I think, I think the, you know, I also on my Facebook is I give a daily kiss and I, you know, keep it simple saying, keep it simple, spiritual, but it's all along that same th thing is like, you know, that's the way to keep it smart, you know, simple and smart is if, if I'm already burdened with pain or dysfunction or something, um, I think I know for like healthcare practitioners, you know, I don't want to necessarily always go and get like 56 different exercises as a physical therapist, what I have to go home and do. You got to streamline it so that you get the point of the whole entire exercise, yeah. you know, or the engagement of yeah. the body or in the engagement in the person and things like this is behavioral change. And um, you need to titrate that for long lasting, long lasting. Yeah. Yes. I agree. So um, I'm going to pull up the, the portal. Okay. And so this is the practitioner's view. And you will see that we have this dashboard when I first log in. I have three patients that are tracking. This is the plan they're on. Um, this is the progress of what day when they last tracked. So um, you can see Karen Thompson, which was me a couple of minutes ago, mm -hmm. last tracked four minutes ago. Um, and uh, we have this stoplight view of how um, how a patient is doing at a glance. So you can see that Karen is not doing so well with sleep. She's also not doing very well with nutrition. She's had caffeine and alcohol. Georgina up here has had um, dairy alcohol and caffeine. Um, uh, Karen's not meditating at all. 
Um, I should have entered some of this data so it would look like somebody was doing really great. But. <laughs> <laughs> these are the, yeah, these are, well, you know, the thing is, though, then we can then intervene. Um, you know, again, this is talking about relationship and partnership and, you know, um, having somebody give me a call or a text, you know, seeing where I'm struggling to me feels, you know, that's where the buy-in comes in and the trust comes in and the relationship comes in with, with your client, you know, it's not when it's rosy and everything's great. And it's like, Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. You know, there's, right. it, it's almost time to discharge at that point. You shouldn't even be having them <laughs> on, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I think what's nice is that, um, when you're doing a, when you're doing a, a consultation or a session with a, a client, you can easily go like, Hey, you know, Karen, it doesn't, you haven't tracked any meditation. Are you meditating at all? Right. Um, and, and, and then Karen says, no, and you say, but you know, you're telling me you're having a hard time sleeping and, you know, maybe the meditation would help or, you know, you're, been, um, you're, you're saying you're feeling anxious. And so, um, or, you know, you're, you're tired and you're drinking a lot of caffeine. So we, let's figure out how we address that because it may be that the caffeine is actually contributing to your being tired. Right. Right. Um, so anyway, and then if you have other services, like, of course, you know, always thinking about like lady biz mine, like for me in particular, having, you know, when I had my integrative wellness center and I did have um, consultation with a, you know, a, a coach, or I did have, you can say, do you need that extra support added to your program and actually help the business end as well as helping the client end if they need that if you have that under your own you know house mm -hmm. or even working with inter you know other practitioners on a team efficiently because that's definitely those buzzwords right how are we going to use these these limited dollars the most efficient way right tracking right. where they need the actual help yep definitely so we, you see, we have weight here. We have other body metrics that you can add um, if you, if there's something that you want to track in, at a glance. Um, let's just go look at Karen's details here. So um, this is where I can do that video call. Um, right. Click on this to initiate a video um, chat with Karen. We have just some general information on Karen. I have this notes section. So these are internal notes. The client does not see them. And then you can see here is that uh, text message and my whole thread of text messages that, that I've had with Karen. Um, just, you know, having a hard time sleeping, ideas. Uh, you might say, um, turn off electronic devices. By 10 p.m. the latest. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Right. Um, or, or I'm going to add melatonin to your supplements, right? So you can send um, a message back. Uh, you also see up here, there's three text messages that are new. Um, so I can see here, there's Karen, there's Joel. He sent me a message yesterday that I haven't responded to. Um, so uh, you also get notifications up here of text messages. And then over here on the right is the plan details. So Karen's currently on the autoimmune paleo. I can click here to go look at other plans that she has followed. Um, if I wanted to add melatonin to her supplements, I would just go over here and say add supplements. At bedtime, let's add three drops of melatonin. I don't even know if that's enough, but um, you can, it's very easy. Um, take 30 minutes before bed. Um, and that's now added to her um, supplements that she's going to see in the app. Very cool. You can also go down here, and this is where you see the actual details. So if I click here to explain stay on nutrition, you'll see um, there is the lunch. We had alcohol, caffeine. I really wanted eggs. That's the note. And here's the photo. So um, you can see all the details of everything she's tracking. And I think, um, you know, definitely with all the gut brain um, research coming out and all this, like, this is a really nice snapshot, you know, thinking of people, I, I know some people will be like, well, that's, you know, not necessarily a physical therapist's 
um, ball of wax, but it really has to be like seeing that picture so that you can get them the nutritionist. The same way as I'm not a psychologist, but if I miss a postpartum depression on my pelvic floor recovery mm -hmm. program and that mother is, you know, uh, hurting herself or her child or something, like that's on, like as a filming, you know, seeing red flags, I'm not going to mm -hmm. treat it, but I might educate her and get her yeah. the right practitioner on this team. Because yep. me pushing and you know working on her pelvic floor at that time, when that's going on, I, I might be able to see that if she's even engaged, if she's not engaged in that. So it can be um, allowing you to actually be a better, I think, professional for referral to see those red flags, even if you're not necessarily doing that whole program, but you're giving them an option to yeah. communicate with you better outside yeah. the office. Yeah. Nice. It's great. Um, and then I'm just going to pull up the plans. So we have here for the plans is, as I mentioned, we have a whole library of plans. We have um, uh, adrenal failure, autoimmune paleo, low FODMAP, uh, elimination diet. So um, we're just adding an anti-candida. We're continuing to add plans um, as practitioners request them. Mm. Uh, if you have your own plans, we can add those to the program. Um, or we can help you take our plans and customize them. Um, I have a practitioner who's in um, Barbados, and so some of the ingredients like sweet potatoes and avocado are not ready. Right. Well, so we've we've just uh, modified the the ingredients a little bit and tweaked them for the Barbados um, cuisine. Um, or you know, like Dr. Pedre has his happy gut book. We have his whole happy gut plan in here that he uses with his patients. So we can also add a whole custom plan. Um, and you know, I forgot to say about our plans, which I think is really um, unique about them, um, is that we have um, we've thought about how somebody would cook and shop, and we're really trying to make it easy for somebody to adopt it. So the plans are all, um, the recipes, I should say, the recipes are portioned for um, one or two. So, and, it, and if it makes two portions, we reuse the food the following day. So we're being economical with the food and not asking people to buy a lot of things that they don't end up eating and they end up throwing away. Yeah. Um, and um, we've tried to make the recipes very simple with few ingredients. Um, so you're not going to see a lot of um, high priced in ingredients. Like we don't use, we don't have ghee in our recipes because a little bottle of ghee costs, you know, $10. Right. right. So, um, and um, so, so we want to, we want to make it, uh, the recipes affordable for the majority of people who would be using them. And we also want them to be easy because if you're not used to cooking, um, or you don't like to cook, you need things that are really easy to make. Um, yeah, and most but busy people, like we don't know how to cook anymore, you know, like, yeah. and so it is, it's, it's like a, let's again, keeping it simple, that KISS principle. Yes. And so, you know, um, we're getting great feedback from uh, patients that not only do they like the recipes, they're also getting good results on them. So yes. always the best, always yeah. the best. Um, so I'm just going to pull up the autoimmune paleo plan and we'll take a look at that. What you see here is that we have, um, these are the body metrics. So you can set what you would like to track. Um, I have, um, for instance, a practitioner who works with women who have eating disorders. So of course she's not going to ask them to, exactly, for, the, yeah. for their waist. So she just, you know, checks that and saves it. And then her patients are not asked for that. Um, or maybe, you know, you're on a, you're working with someone on a ketogenic diet, so you want them to report on their urine ketones. You just click that, and then it shows up in their body metrics. Very uh, good. And then down here we have these reminders. These are little messages that pop up on the phone um, throughout the day. You can, uh, we, we've put in a list of uh, reminders, but you can modify them. You can delete them. You can add new ones. These are an extremely popular feature with the majority of clients. Um, and uh, not only do they give you a chance to reinforce like habits and, and new habits that you want um, clients to adopt, 
they create a little relationship with you and your client throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So, um, connection, definitely the connection. And some of our practitioners have really spent a lot of time customizing these. So they fit their protocols and their program and they're in their voice and, um, their patients really like, um, the reminders. I, I have one practitioner who's, uh, has a 56 day program and a few of her clients are just paying her to use the app after they <laughs> the program because they like yeah. the reminders from her throughout the day. Yeah. I mean, that's what we need, right? We need accountability partners. And that's it's really, you know, healthcare is moving towards that. Uh, if you yeah. can't be, uh, especially as we're working into a more well care model, um, I think that's probably the biggest disconnect with straightforward uh, reactive medicine is that there's no, um, you know, there's no room really for that relationship when the person isn't ill. Right. <laughs> and, and in a well care thing, there's room for hopefully that relationship for more times than when they are ill forever. Yes. And I think even more than your accountability partner, you're, you want to know that someone's paying attention to you and they care. Right. So, um, uh, if someone is, um, is logging that they're having a really hard time, you know, find the program, they want you to say like, Hey, you're, I see a little text message saying, Hey, I see you're having a hard time. What can I help you with? Or if they're doing great saying like, I see that you're, you're logging. They just want to know that you're paying attention to them. Right. right. Um, right. and that's the biggest motivator for actually of trying course. to cross the, program. the care, the care yeah. aspect is and so the care from an individual, which is why I think the practitioner is so important in, in the, in the equation. Um, so that's awesome. So this looks like, you know, it could really, I think with the, um, you know, it really is up to the creativity of the practitioner and how they're going to bring this into their practice. Mm -hmm. Um, so in the last few minutes, uh, Kari, is there anything else like you think that really you want to share in terms of the system or just personally, or even what you've maybe observed in, in rolling it out so far? I should just say on the, just on the right hand side is where you customize all of that information you saw on the plan. So I won't click through all these, but we make it really easy. So you can, um, you know, if meditation, if you, if you want people to yeah. meditate 30 minutes a day or three hours, you can put that in here. So, um, or maybe you don't, you know, maybe you have a different opinion about gluten, whether it's okay for them to have whole grains. Um, so, our library, we tried to be very um, general with a lot of the advice, but now you can customize that. And um, so all of these areas you can customize. We also have some group tools, so you can create a group. You can add members to that group. Um, you get group stats. You can text message the group. You can email the group, um, and you have uh, group notes. So yeah, that was great. That's actually how I started implementing it because I have some strict nutrition rules in my state of North Carolina and, but, you know, general education and supporting them when they were on different things and they were taking a challenge. And this group thing was great. Um, one, because I kind of saw where everybody was against the other person, but uh, they sort of felt that little inside community, you know, like those CrossFitters. It's part of that community within you know, I'm not alone going through this for the next yeah. two weeks, you know? Yeah, and we have some enhancements that we're going to be adding to, to that peer-to-peer -peer support, um, which I think are going to be great. So, Sounds um, great. You know, uh, so, so just to sum it up, you know, we have, um, we have practitioners um, who are using our program, and it's working really well for them. Um, uh, they're saving a lot of time. One of our practitioners, I was telling you, Lisa, is a uh, – she spends half the amount of time that she used to spend with her um, clients and um, her clients feel like she's spending more time with them. Mm. Um, so quality. it's quality. So, uh, you know, I think it's hitting the market and um, increasing the quali quality, making for happier clients, um, building your brand because it, it's the association with that they're following your program and they're happy with it. And um, so, yeah, I think that's great because it allows you to to do all of that, like what you just mentioned. And that's really where we have to go as healthcare practitioners. Like they have to start. There are so many ways to get people better and we have to own that. You know, not everybody 
uh, needs a physical therapist for back pain. Although if they come to one, you know, they'll get great care. But, you know, I mean, I've yoga my way out of back pain. I've Pilates my, Pilates my way out of back pain. Mm -hmm. So like it really comes down to what you as a practitioner can offer a person in relationship and experience and then how you do that and then explaining to them. And then we have to turn the tables and really get comfortable with the fact they're going to make their decisions. But then when they made that decision, their buy-in is so much better versus the authoritarian role of you do this because I'm so-and-so with this degree. Right. You know, because they have to go off on their life without you. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, not everybody's maybe method of want, maybe some people want them to keep coming back to them to, you know, over and over week to week. But I know at me as a practitioner, I don't, I want you, if you come back to me, maybe it's for a yoga class or this or that, um, or just to get an right. annual, you know, head to toe functional right. movement review. I don't necessarily want you to have back pain. <laughs> well, you wanted them to send their friends and family to exactly. you. Exactly. The experience. Work, that experience. Great experience. Definitely. Well, Kari, thank you so yeah. much um, for this demo and explaining it. Because like I, I, I had said to you, I think beforehand, I'm not sure if we were recording or not yet. It's so scary. Tech is so scary. Getting out there, ha being your own practitioner is so scary for healthcare practitioners now. Doing independent things, you know, wanting to maybe leave us an ill care system, maybe wanting to, you know, leave insurances as the main way you pay for them. And this just gives you one more tool um, to do a really great job and to meet your potential as well as really being able to give clients their ability to, to meet their potential. So I thank you so much. Great. And if we have a special for anybody who is um, watching the podcast. Are you going to put that information around the podcast? Yeah, I have. Um, we have a nice um, little gift from mbody360 if you you know get you to move from procrastination to uh you know from fear to, to actually some action um you want to explain that that link there what it'll help them with and i'm going to put yeah. that in the show notes so um lisa is going to put in a link for where you can sign up for a free trial so we have an unlimited um time frame free trial that you can use with up to two active patients at a time and then for, um, for the Guru Goddess tribe of folks, we have um, a special coupon code that um, Lisa will also put in the notes for 20% off your subscription for the life of the subscription. And we have yeah, a variety so of you work with me on mentorship. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you to get started. Mm -hmm. um, I've definitely worked very, very hard to make sure what I'm giving people is quality and save you time. Um, getting you connected with some of these these um, great ideas from great people, especially if they're fellow lady leaders. Um, that's that's awesome. All right, Kari. So we'll wrap this up. Thank you so much right. for being here. I'm going to get this up on my YouTube, and that'll have um, a link to the show notes. I'll get that on my website, and then we'll probably pull the um, audio. They can't see, you know, on the regular podcast thing. So we'll keep this probably for the um, for people in my in my my program and the um, Mind Body Brand Academy and things like that uh, for now. And then when I get really jazzy and get my lifestyle show going, we'll have that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll rebring that up. And then hopefully we'll talk just on the biz end and being a lady leader and be able to have that on the podcast um, for audio. Sounds awesome. Good? Awesome. Perfect. All right, All right, guys. Thanks so much. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.